second one is tweet droid this is what the timeline looks like on tweet droid in a nice and clean uh, we do like this one as well again this is a free version um, if you want to reply uh, to a tweet you select the tweet and then it gives you different options if it has any URL attached to it uh, you will be able to pull it up here on the first link uh, you can reply show profile make it a favorite retweet retweet with comment send a direct message copy to clipboard share the tweet share on Facebook and report it as spam um, let's take a look at the profile so you see what it looks like the profile you get that basic information of the user you know how many people are uh, their friends how many people are following that person how many tweets that person has if he has a Twitter page or another page uh, location of the user small bio with the Twitter name and the actual name of the user and then you get a small timeline with all this person's uh, tweets up here on the bottom uh, to go back to the home screen again you select uh, the house button on the bottom here and that takes you back to your uh, home screen uh, where all the tweets are <clears throat> you get uh, different menu buttons here um, you get one that says the first one it says jump to top so if you scroll all the way to the bottom here you select menu jump to top and your timeline goes all the way to the top see it's all the way at the top <clears throat> if you select menu and you select profile which is the next one it shows your profile with your information the next one is settings uh, here's where you can edit your account uh, uh, set your notifications like background notifications how often do you want those 5 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour, once a day um, <clears throat> if you want the application to start up as, as soon as you boot up your device for whatever reason you have to restart your phone um, if you want to show the complete messages uh, notifications uh, if you want to check for tweets, mentions, direct messages uh, if you want to play a ringtone on all the alerts you can select what type of ringtone you want um, if you wanted to flash on new tweets, vibrate on new tweets, so forth. Per version allows you to choose the skin you want to use. Not that big of a deal. Um, I suggest you don't go pro just because of the uh, skin. Um, uh, will allow you to choose the font size. So if you want a bigger font, you can select it here. Um, I'm just going to some through some of them because it, this this particular tweet client has a ton of uh, options. Uh, if you want to remember the timeline position, again same thing. Uh, if you get out of the phone or get or close out the application and you get back on it, you can select that so that uh, it takes you back to the last notif notification of tweet tweet post you were looking at. If you want to use real names on the Twitter users instead of the Twitter uh, name if you want to hide the new tweet button uh, the photo services that the application comes with I'll allow you to select one of those uh, how good of a quality you want those pictures to be depend on your connection if you have a bad connection you might want to choose a low quality if you have a really good connection like 3G, 4G or Wi-Fi you might want to use a high quality picture um, enables captions if you want the URL shortening uh, services uh, enables it, it gives you an option to enable geolocation um, if you want to refresh tweets on launch um, username out of complete hash out of complete ton of options uh, use the SD card to store the app uh, this is so you can store the information on the SD card this is so you can clear the cache. Uh, that's all the different options you got there. Um, 
When you go to more, you get a uh, exit application account, so you can take a look at your accounts, uh, your favorites, you manage your list. If you want to go pro, if you uh, you know follow a, follow a request, if you have any of those, if you want to suggest a feature to the developer, um, there's also a button for trends. So all the happenings in Twitter, all the different trends are listed here, or are some of them. And then, if you have any list, if you're part of uh, you know several lists or whatever, you select that, and then it will give you a different list there. I don't have any, so that's why nothing's showing up. Um, you get different buttons here on the bottom. The first one is to go back to your home screen. Uh, the next one is if you have to tweet something, it will be listed here. Uh, again, it allows you to uh, attach uh, a photo insert a video, record a video, or if you want to take a picture. Uh, then the next one after that is replies. So any replies that you might have will be listed here. And again from here you can reply to those users. Uh, any direct messages that you might have will be listed here as well on the next button after that. And the next button after that is a search button. Here's where you can search uh, tweets, you can search users, or you can search nearby items or tweets. And then the last, the very last button here on the right is a refresh button. And basically, what it does is it refreshes your timeline, it refreshes your, your ad replies and direct messages, and so forth. Um, so that's what it looks like. Um, we also like this as well. Um, there are no widgets at all included on this version. Um, if you do decide to go pro, uh, it will allow you to change the theme of the application as far as you know what kind of you know the color of the tweets, and the backgrounds and stuff like that. Um, then you get different um, widgets as well. You get a small widget that would allow you to just input your tweet, uh, and then you get a larger and a small tweet jet, uh, tweet droid, um widget uh, that basically gives you updates. Plus, it will allow you to update your Twitter uh, as well. All right, so that's Tweetroid.